a rumor or actually true? Many voices in China believe that the EV is going to die because the traditional German legacy brands like Mercedes and Co cannot compete with the up and coming Chinese EV makers. So they are now on the verge of throwing the towel. I'm Jun Yan from DW Ref and I'm eager to show you is that the case or not. 2月28日, 苹果正式放棄造車計劃. 同一天, 奔馳 CEO 康松林宣布暫緩全面電動化計劃. 果然，欧美国家在竞争不过中国新能源汽车产业后，开始集体掀桌子耍无赖了。哎，欧美它为什么突然集体放弃电动车项目？实际上，这是欧盟、美国为首的汽车行业对中国电动汽车行业的围剿
at the moment the, the situation we have plenty of crisis around the world political economical and so on right and uh, people are really uh, somehow uh, in, in fear of change in some respects as those voices from china and europe mentioned the uncertainty about the future of electric vehicles may stem from the fact that we currently live in an uncertain world. Because so many of our previous understandings have been negated by new circumstances. We have started to become accustomed to negating everything. But when it comes to the future of our mobility, a highly important topic, what do the experts in Europe think? And uh, while uh, electric mobility is the chosen path for the industry, uh, so there is no doubt about that. Every major OEM and many new entrants, they, they have set their bets on electric mobility as the, as the main trend of the main form of propulsion for the future. Confucius says, flies don't target eggs without cracks. Many thoughts on the end of the EV dream are not entirely without foundation. They have also got their proponents in Germany. The EV is the future. Unfortunately, our politicians have lost interest in the future. This is Professor Ferdinand Dudenhofer, who used to be known as the godfather of the automotive industry in Germany. As an academic, he pays close attention to and is optimistic about the development of China's electric vehicle industry and is often a VIP at official Chinese events. However, he is not optimistic about the future of electric vehicles in the European and American markets. The reason stems from politics. On the political side, there have been significant changes, and these changes are slowing down the electric car. The main reason why electric cars are now weakening in Germany, in the EU, is the lack of support from the political sphere, firstly in terms of buyers' premiums, and secondly due to the general political attitude that internal combustion engines still have a future. So this is the view of Professor Dudenhofer as an academic observer. What have Germany's major traditional automakers recently said about the future of electric vehicles? This is Ola Kalenius, the chairman of Mercedes. As we mentioned before, he faced criticism from the supervisory board because his ambitious plan for a fully electric lineup by 2030 was not achievable. Now he has changed his narrative, pushing back the deadline for completing this transition by another nine years to 2039. So we want to achieve a net carbon neutral position by the end of the next decade. But in order not to wait for that to happen in 15, 16 years, we have also set ourselves an interim target by the end of this decade and achieve up to 50% of that journey by 2030. The net zero carbon target mentioned by Mercedes is actually more ambitious than their previous goal of achieving a fully electric sales lineup by 2030. This net zero goal means that the entire product life cycle of all their vehicles, including batteries, raw material production, assembling, delivery, customer usage and recycling, would achieve carbon neutrality and the environmental impact of electric vehicles throughout their entire life cycle is also a focal point for many critics. Now in the long term, battery electric vehicles uh, will be the predominant uh, powertrain. And I think uh, the market share by 2027 uh, will be uh, at a tipping point. So after that, more electric vehicles will be sold than ICEs. This was the bold declaration made by the CEO of Volkswagen in 2023. Furthermore, looking across other German automakers, including BMW and Audi, achieving carbon neutrality is essentially a medium to long-term goal for all of them, with only the timelines for achieving those goals varying. Seeing that German automakers are planning to exit the electric vehicle race is therefore completely at odds with the facts.
Indeed, there are many voices in Europe questioning the future of electric vehicles. For example, European countries, including Germany and France, significantly reduced subsidies for electric vehicle buyers not long ago. Before the cancellation of purchase subsidies, buying an electric vehicle in Germany could have netted you a government subsidy of around 4,500 to 6,000 euros. Imagine if you had bought a mid to high spec electric mini. Just the subsidy alone would have amounted to roughly 10 to 15% of the purchase price. For popular models like the Mini, this level of discount was essentially the maximum a manufacturer could offer. If you had bought a cheaper entry level electric car, priced between 20,000 and 30,000 euros, the government subsidy would have constituted an even larger proportion of the cost. But now, this money is gone. Now that the price difference is so significant, and this is the most important argument, customers are withdrawing and reverting to combustion engines. So it's the big price difference between combustion engines and electric cars. By way of comparison, China is now a paradise for EV buyers. You can get this for around about 27,000 euros. This for 32,000 euros and this for less than 17,000 euros. Of course, economic considerations are undoubtedly the primary concern for most users. Besides the purchase price, however, the continuously rising electricity prices across Europe are also a reason why many consumers are hesitant to embrace EVs. Furthermore, the first wave of trial and error pioneers or the so-called early adapters have already accumulated first-hand positive and negative experiences. Three years ago, as someone who acquired an electric car, I belonged to those early adapters. The experience of driving an electric vehicle in Europe these days isn't necessarily bad, but it's enough to fast-track you into a midlife crisis. The experience is marred by opaque public charging stations and exorbitant electricity prices. The low compatibility of charging cards, incomplete or inaccurate information about charging stations, and various frustrating charging experiences add to the ordeal. Coupled with range anxiety inherent to electric cars, all that reinforces my belief that the future of electric mobility cannot remain as it is now. I also understand better why many argue that the electric cars we see on the roads today are merely transitional products. Of course, there are dissenting voices as well. I don't agree, because if you look at vehicles from the latest generations, for example what Mercedes is doing with its S and E-Class models, they have great range, and one can manage quite well with them. Well, not everyone, however, can afford a Mercedes S or E. Of course, we can hope that car makers will gradually democratize the battery technology used today in top models to more affordable models that the masses can accept. Regardless, the future of the electric mobility will still depend on new technological advancements. But the most important thing what we see here in batteries, this is a technology that starts right away. And we will have plenty of, of, of improvements over the next years in terms of price, performance, availability and so on. So and this uh, makes me confident that electric mobility can fulfill its promises to provide sustainable, affordable mobility for society. We expect that battery technology will make significant leaps forward in the next five years. We're talking about solid-state batteries. I've also noticed that in Germany, whether people are pessimistic or optimistic about the current state of electric vehicles, they are still believe that the future direction of our travel methods is electric. But can those traditional German car makers, which once won big with conventional internal combustion engine technology and have been criticized for moving too slowly and too late towards electrification, continue to win? 
they have a clear vision of the future and they are embracing it. And the future asset is electric or at least hybrid electric for the existing portfolio. So I wouldn't worry too much that we are not able to, to, to master the technology. The car godfather of Germany believes that the future of electric mobility lies in China. We're optimistic that the breakthrough will happen in China, no question. And we think it will also spread to Europe and the US. But the question always is, what will the politicians do? Politicians can let the car die or let it live. But you can't predict what politicians will do. Nevertheless, as we have heard from Mercedes, Volkswagen and others, EVs are far from that, not even fading away. Major car makers in Germany are just adjusting the pace towards full electrification. What do you think? Leave us a comment below.